morning, a bit colder than what I thought. <laughs> uh, we're going to read today Psalm 133, and instead of reading it from our normal translations, I'm going to read it from the Passion Translation. Um, and it says this, How truly wonderful and delightful to see brothers and sisters living together in unity. It's as precious as the sacred scented oil flowing from the head of the high priest Aaron, dripping down upon his beard and running all the way down to the hem of his priestly robes. This heavenly harmony can be compared to the dew dripping down from the skies upon Mount Hermon. For from this realm of harmony, God will release his eternal blessing, the promise of life forevermore. There's a blessing, power, when brothers and sisters come together, live together in unity. It describes it like a Jew that came down on, on Mount Hermon, a, a mountain located on the northern border of Israel. Jew would drip down the mountains and flow into the rivers, bringing refreshing life. Unity does not mean conformity. It doesn't mean we're all like robots. We all do the same thing. God created us different, unique, different personality, different giftings, uh, different mixes. And so we're not robots, nor do we come under some dictatorship. What it means is that our different gifts, we bring them together for a greater cause than ourselves, for far bigger than ourselves. It it may be when you're in a meeting, a, a, a committee meeting, a business meeting, maybe even a life group. Sometimes we have these brilliant ideas and if no one picks up our idea, we're not too happy about it. But sometimes it's laying down our ideas to pick up somebody else's idea that may not even be as good as yours at the time. So we, we have an enemy that's against us, against the church, and he strives for disunity division. Be careful what comes out of your mouth because it can bring disunity and bring division instead of with the Holy Spirit's help, we're to work together for that spirit of unity. And we combat against that spirit of disunity and division. We're not here to pull one another down. We're here to support one another, encourage one another. And so we strive for unity, a common ground between each other. And that common ground is Jesus. Sometimes there will not be harmony. And if we want our own way or, 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 or our own ideas, but we have to lay that down, submit it to the Holy Spirit. It's not like, you know, we pick up our bat and ball and no one's going to agree with me. I'm out of here. So we ask for the Holy Spirit to help us with all of our differences to be able to work together for the sake of unity, blessing, and agreement. Because where there is an agreement and a blessing and working together, it says there God commands a blessing. It doesn't say everyone thinks the same way. It doesn't mean everyone's got the, everyone's got the same ideas. But just as we work together, there's, there's a blessing that comes. You can't promote yourself and expect unity. Unity comes from laying down and humbling yourself. It's a power of agreement together that breaks down the spirit of fear and division. There God commands and speaks a blessing. And so, Lord, today we pray for our church. We pray for our leaders, every department of our church, that we would walk together in unity. We're not all the same. We're all different. We're made different. But we to please the Holy Spirit and to walk in the Holy Spirit and not grieving the Holy Spirit, we will work together for unity. For there, you says, you command a blessing. Help my heart. I bring my heart to you today as we bring our hearts before you today. In Jesus' name, amen. <music>